Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing um, a review on two Body Shop foundations and a few other um, Body Shop beauty um, things, makeup, beauty things, <laughs> uh, Body Shop makeup. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I know a lot of people who wear foundation and you know, who wear makeup and stuff and don't consider Body Shop to be a place that they would go to for foundations and makeup and stuff. And I really think their things are so good. So I wanted to do this review for those of you ha who are out there who may pass by Body Shop um, just to shine some light on it um, when it comes to their makeup because their makeup is really good. So first off, first off I don't know why I'm getting so tongue tied today. Oh, anyway. First off, I'm going to start off with their foundations, two foundations, um, their mineral foundation and I've got a oil-free balancing foundation. Their mineral foundation is really good. You get quite a lot of product. I mean, it looks like it's small, but trust me, you need the smallest amount. And my last tub lasted me three years. I've just had to buy this one. They come in... Um, six colours, i.e. seven, I think it's seven colours, yeah, seven colours. They've recently just discontinu discontinued colour number six, which is my actual colour, but I've tried a new colour just because I love it so much, um, I didn't want to just like stop using it. So, when you open up the lid, you see the product, and you're going to need um, a mineral foundation brush which is £16 and the foundation is also £16 and you just take the smallest amount on your brush I won't actually do it because I've got foundation on and all you do is work the powder into your face in small tight circles and yeah you can go back in for some more products but you just need the smallest amount of, a teeny bit of powder goes a very long way and I've been wearing their mineral foundation for years and so many occasions people have complimented me on my skin when I've been wearing it because you can't tell you've got foundation on like people can't tell you've got foundation on because how it works obviously as m many people know mineral foundation it sinks into the skin and lets off like a very healthy glow and this stuff is amazing it's 16 pounds I love it so much I it is my go-to foundation I only really wear the liquids and stuff um, when I'm kind of going out on a special occasion but like as an everyday thing my mineral foundation is kind of like my go-to foundation at night I wouldn't recommend it so much like if you're going partying and stuff because it does let off light I mean when you're sweating and stuff of course your face is going to get shiny and stuff the, you know the oil from your own skin and the shine this gives can make you look very greasy um, if you're wearing it you know on a night out and stuff but for during the day um, for winter in particular it gives you a very healthy glow um, probably one of the best foundations I've ever tried so yeah I was gonna say something else there but I lost it <laughs> so yeah um, their second foundation is that um, the second foundation I've tried <laughs> is the oil free balancing foundation it comes in I think nine colours. I'm number colour number eight and it is thirty mil for thirteen pounds guys. The price is so attractive. Considering you pay I think it's nineteen pounds for the Mac thirty mil studio fix, but of course they're different brands. Um so this is oil free. I was really attracted to this because it is oil free. Um because I have very greasy skin Sometimes when, when I'm wearing my um, liquid foundations, by the end of the day, I kind of feel like, you know, a sweat pot. It's just like, I feel so greasy. So, having tried this out, I would really recommend it for people with oily skin. It kind of mats out the face just enough um, so that, you know, your own oils in your face can come through and you don't look so greasy. Whereas I find with other foundations, because they have their own oil, and then I've got oily skin. By the end of the day, I just feel like a sweat pot. Um, so yeah, I'm really, you know, in favour of this foundation. It is so good. I wore this on the hottest day of the year in London, and my face didn't shine so much. Any other liquid foundation, I would have looked like a pot of grease. Trust me. And for 13 pounds, you can't really go wrong. So yeah, 
I have um, a few of their eyeshadows. I've got one set and I've got two individual ones. Um, oh gosh. <laughs> um, I have a, a gold and I have a purple. These little pots are very pigmented. They're quite expensive. They're about eight pounds each, but these have lasted me for three years and they're going nowhere anytime soon. All their sh um, eyeshadows, the little pot ones, are very um, shiny and n not everybody likes shiny um, eyeshadows. So for that reason, you know, that's kind of one con about them. But in terms of um, everything else, they're perfect. They're very pigmented. They don't fade. You can wear them in the morning and they'll still look the same in the evening. And yeah, really good quality for money. Um, this set I've got here, these ones are very matte kind of um, eyeshadows and yeah again the product hasn't you know been watered down because it's a set the product is still very pigmented and yeah good I wear it and it still looks the same all day you can tell I'm not very well versed in like beauty related things because I'm kind of running out of things to say but um you know this video is just like my own opinions about body shop makeup so I'm not coming from an expert point of view so yeah sorry if my um, vocabulary is very repeated um, so yeah their brushes are fantastic and their brushes were actually recommended to me by a MAC professional I went to the MAC counter and I said to the lady you know Quite frankly, I can't afford your foundation, I mean your brushes, because they're just so expensive. One MAC brush is like £20, and that's that's probably one of their cheap brushes. Like, you can get a MAC brush for like £30 easily. Um, and of course, I'm not trying to spend that kind of money. So I asked the lady at the counter, you know, what would you recommend other than your brushes? And she very honestly said to me, I would actually recommend Body Shop brushes, because their quality is not far off of our own and um, you know she used them before she was a MAC professional and she said that she still kept her body shop brushes as well as her MAC brushes so yeah I've found them to be fantastic you don't get like stray hairs coming off um, they last beautifully they look just um, like how they look just as good um, as when you bought them like several times after being washed and you know years later I've got the mineral foundation brush um, the foundation brush which is a great size you know some foundation brushes are too thin well this is nice it's nice and thick enough for you to you know work your foundation in I've got their lipstick brush which I actually use for like the really um, small corners of my eyes when I'm trying to add when I'm trying to do um, eyeshadow I don't really use it for my lips because lipstick brushes just leave strokes and there's just no point I've got their angled eyeshadow brush this is fantastic for when you're um, you know doing the angles on the edge in particular this is the only brush I would say has kind of lost its shape a little bit and as you can see can you see that little small hair that's hanging off at the end but that's because my mum overly used it so it's not because of the actual brush I think she just overly used it she just misused it <laughs> And I've got their um, face and body brush, which is so soft on your skin. To be honest, all their brushes are so soft on your skin, especially their foundation brush, their mineral foundation brush. This, I just want to just like rub it on my skin just for pleasure. So nice. So yeah, that is my review on Body Shop makeups and brushes. I hope it's been useful to somebody out there. I would definitely recommend their brushes for beginners. Um, you know, people who are not willing to spend thirty. 20 pounds on brushes and their foundations are fantastic and their eyeshadows are very pigmented and quite pricey but yeah worth the money so yeah i hope this has been useful if you're watching this on youtube don't forget to check out my blog www.rosemaryrocks.com and if you're watching this on my blog don't forget to check out my youtube which is not really what i make my videos for i do really make my videos for my blog so yeah, either way, 
I hope everyone's cool out there and I hope to talk to you soon. Bye.